you've got a folding e-bike, what's the easiest way to load it in the back of a car? Well, I'm going to show you. Stay tuned. You've got this nice folding e-bike and you know that gives you more mobility so you can haul it places without having to buy an expensive hitch or a truck. So how do you haul this the easiest way possible and cause the minimum amount of damage, obviously no damage, to either the bike or your vehicle? Well, the first thing is I use one of these Harbor Freight moving blankets and I'll throw that back over the back of my car to make sure that it do not scratch the paint and also I can use this to pull the bike forward once I get it up here. Now the next thing you got to figure out is which side of the bike goes down because this is going to be too tall to fit up like upright in my back of my vehicle and even if you can put it upright now you've got the issue of trying to strap it down. So let me show you what your decision is. If you put it with the derailleur side down, you've got the pedal over there protecting your chain ring, and you've got this big nut right here probably that is gonna protect your derailleur. But if you put the handle side down, it only has one point of contact right here, and now your brake lever levers are gonna be facing down, and again, all the pressure is gonna be right there. So, although I worry about having the derailleur down, I recognize that that's probably the best decision and something I, I need to go ahead and do, and just be careful. Now the next challenge is how, how to lift this up. It's easy here in the front because here's a natural handle right here, but how are you gonna do it with the back? Because the back, the wheels are gonna splay apart. So what I, I've done is I've got a small piece of rope and I've got two loops and what I will do is run these loops through the tires. Now I've got a way to lift this up while keeping both of the tires together. So let's go ahead and get it loaded. I run the cord through the tires, grab it here, I grab the handle and I'm going to go straight in and then lay it down. You can see why that moving blanket is handy. Take the cord out. And now I can gently lay it down. And I'll go pull on the, the uh, blanket to pull it in the rest of the way. There we go, all set. It's all loaded up. I can flip this up if I want to protect it. And then I'm ready to go. If you've got an easy way to load a folding e-bike into the back of a sedan, please throw the comments down below. Because if there's an easier way to do this, and it minimizes the risk of scratching my wife's car, well, I want to know about it. Thanks.